a celebration of American black dance. There were choreographers and dancers from the biggest and the oldest companies to the smallest and newest. From Harlem, from Broadway, from dance theaters across the country, from the streets. Come, join us, applaud the greats, replay the highs, see what's new. It's a great party. <laughs> it's not over yet. Four minutes, folks. 
folks, please take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we're starting in four minutes. Please take your seats. We're going to break a leg. We're going to break 20 legs. Right side, please, to so your left stomach. Growing up in Cleveland, I saw Arthur Dahl de Fora do the ostrich at Severance Hall. It was the first time I ever saw African dance. Later, I came to New York. I studied with Catherine Dunham and uh, Charles Wideman. But I never forgot that first glimpse of Africa. I just, uh, Chuck, Chuck, let me, uh, let me give you some changes. As a choreographer in America, I have the best of both worlds because I have my traditional African heritage with my contemporary American training. The Linjingo Games and the Manjani are two dance styles from the Senegambia area of West Africa, which are used in a social context. The Linjingo people would gather every afternoon in the Gambia, late in the afternoons, and they set about singing and the drums, the drums are going. It's a perfect marriage between music and movement. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was very curious. I loved anthropology, and it didn't take me long to know that there was something missing in the concert and theatrical presentations of American black people, that there was a whole culture being overlooked. When I danced with Catherine Dunham, 
She was the best. You couldn't go any higher. And when I danced her dance, Shango, I wasn't Charles Moore anymore. I was possessed. You had to beat in order to do dance. We were all a little afraid.
my lord. The thing that I try to reach when I do junkie is articulated anger. I'm not concerned about junkie as a junkie. To me, as a dancer, as a performer, it's a study in self-destruction, and this particular person chose drugs. <laughs> I started a bucket dance theater because I was in search for a different dancer. Most of my dancers, it never even occurred to them that they would be dancers, professional dancers. We had part-time jobs, I have a full-time job. I found some of them at parties. I found some of them on the basketball court or the soccer field. And I remember the first show we did in Buffalo, New York, 
When I was performing, they were in the wings just watching. And that's when I knew that they were turned on and they understood what it was all about finally. I just had a, a fight in the dressing room with them because someone had sent out to get all this Kentucky chicken to eat before the show, which dancers never do, but they didn't know any better. From before, was looking back at my origins in the West Indies and seeing how I could take away all the trimmings and the costumes of African or Caribbean dance and strip it right down to the bare bones. <laughs>
Oh, no, I'm not going to get dressed. I'm too excited to get dressed. <laughs> Would you just get out of the men's dressing room, please? Okay. But let me kiss you first. <laughs> Bucket made that mark. Bucket made that mark. History of BAM. Anything's possible now. The sky's the limit. All right, all right, yes. All right. But I'll have so much by the time I get back. Please take your seat for the second half. When they brought their dances to America, the Africans brought their glides and shuffles, slides and hops, amazing movements of the hips and feet. Then time became buck and wing, tuba, turkey trot, the moosh, tap dance, lindy, charleston, big apple, the twist. Every day, a new dance. Every beat, a new step. Master Juba added a jig and became a world sensation. of plantation quadrilles and minuets became the cakewalk.
32. We're doing the Big Apple and the Susie Q. We're balling the jack and doing the bebop. Right now. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna Lindy Hop. Y'all ready for us? Ho! Oh yeah!
it by yourself. Go ahead, Chuck. There's a show on the stage, people. Ladies and gentlemen, the Magnificent Force, directed by Julie Fred. And the dancers are Ice Ice, Freeze, Fresh Frank, Cosmic Pop Force, Fast Break, Kid Rock, and Easy E.
Yo, very good. Thank you. Thank you. And wanted to keep your feet up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With that crazy lady. <laughs> Contessa. And Fontessa was a very eccentric sort of character. She wasn't a real person. It's just someone that, that John named Fontessa, I think, because it just, the name just sort of described the person. So I just named the ballet Fontessa and Friends. Mm -hmm. 